Every morning when I wake up, a memory of what happened to me in Iraq lingers in my mind. They didn't really prepare us on how to feel or how to react coming home. My anxiety was super high. I don't know who to talk to. I called the VA mental health clinic and ring, 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 click. They hung up on me. The big sin here is that we've made a commitment to someone that we have failed to follow through on, despite the fact that they held up their end of the bargain. There were a lot of times that I was afraid that he wouldn't get the help that he needed in time. There was always that fear that perhaps, you know, he would just completely lose it. You're living in the throes of trauma. You can't afford to wait another day, let alone a week, month, a year. When bad things happen, healthcare, they're generally catastrophic. What happened to this agency was that demand uh, outstrips supply. It will cost a trillion dollars to deliver on the promises that we have made, and we have no mechanism right now to pay for that promise. It's not working like it's supposed to. It's a huge government bureaucracy. Maybe it survives in part because the public isn't always entirely sure what the VA does. I think people forget or don't know that the VA is the second largest part of the federal budget, second only to the Pentagon. In many ways, the VA is a great political test, maybe the greatest political test for both sides of the aisle. Can you fix the VA?